What's up guys, it is Wednesday morning and I've got 15 orders to ship out. Let's get to work. All right, we're coming to C51 next. I sold two video games. I paired these together because on their own, they just weren't really going for that much. But together, uh, X-Men Legends 1 and 2, they sold for $18.99, free shipping. Got these in a book buy. I've maybe got like 50 cents into the pair. All right, next we're coming over to the records. I sold this double picture album, Led Zeppelin. I think it's, pretty sure it's uh, Jimmy Page on both of them. It sold for $100 plus shipping. Got this in a recent bulk buy. Had to pay up for the record, so I probably got $20, $25 into these. Next, we're coming up here to A2. This is a Micro Machine set that I picked up from my buddy Luke. I think it's been about a month ago. You guys saw me buy all those toys and video games and different things from him. Box was in really bad shape, uh, but had everything inside. Didn't have any cars, but everything else is pretty much there. Really cool piece that sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next, we're coming up to B21. I sold at least one BMX magazine and possibly more. Let's see, the first one I sold is numbered five. Let me dig through here. Here it is. I'll pull it out so you guys can get a look at it. This is 1983 BMX Action. Not in great shape, to be honest. This one I took a best offer of $26 plus shipping. Next one I sold is right here. This is the JAG BMX World Championship back in 1981. Killer graphics on this one. This is just a program from the championship. This one I took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. Next, we're coming down here to A6. Let's move this bag out of the way. I sold these Bratz dolls. You guys saw me sell these a week or two ago. I had two different lots of them. I put them both up for auction and one of the buyers didn't pay. So I put it back up for auction, sold for virtually the same price, got $46 plus shipping. There's only, I think like three or four dolls and then just a ton of accessories. I did not take the time like putting the boots on the feet or anything like that. I just, <laughs> I spread all this stuff out and took a whole bunch of pictures, uh, threw it up for auction starting at a dollar. So definitely keep an eye out for these. These were part of the book buy I got from Luke. So I've maybe got 10, 15 bucks into them, something like that. But Brad stalls are selling really well right now. Coming to B51 next. I sold this film last week and then I sold some more. I had two of these total. Got in a bulk buy, got about five bucks into it. This one sold for $74 free shipping. I'd never seen this film before uh, this buy. It's the 55 film, four by five inches, and it's uh, 20 photos. So definitely keep an eye out for these. All right, next we're coming up here to some of these control boards. I don't think this is the right one. So we're gonna move this out of the way and grab this one right here. Not the greatest inventory system I had for these, if we're being honest. All right, I got a bunch of these water heater and furnace control boards. They've been selling periodically. Um, let's see, this is the one I just sold. Actually, I had two of them. Little Lennox thing, this sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next, we're coming to B43. Where's that? Here it is. I sold this Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem game for GameCube. Only got a couple bucks into it. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. All right, next we're coming to B52. Sold this Wii game. You guys just saw me pick up at Goodwill the other day. Uh, paid $3 for it. Sold for $23 free shipping. Next thing I sold is a VCR. This one did not have the remote, so that hurt its value but it's still sold. I like to include AV cables with the VCRs if I've got some extras laying around. I think this is the last one I had because I just listed a VCR this morning and I didn't have a cable to put with it. But I did have another sealed blank tape. I like putting these with them too. It just kind of helps the sale a little bit. Helps it sell quicker. This is a Toshiba. I think it is a forehead unit. This one sold for $34.99 plus shipping. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to pack this. All right, I've got my big bubble wrap here. We're going to lay this out like so. Place our VCR on there. Fold this over. And then fold this piece over. Tape it down. And then we're going to tape down these ends too. I'm going to push in this cord. Got 
one end taped down to the other end. Oop. There we go. All right, now let's find a box for this thing. All right, got a good box for it, but there is some space around the edges. So I'm gonna fill that with some packing paper. Almost forgot the blank tape and the AV cable, so I threw those in there. Can't tell you guys how many times I'll pack something and then just totally forget to put the remote in or whatever accessories were with it. So got some packing paper in there. I'm gonna close these flaps down, tape it up, and it's gonna be good to go. I've talked to a lot of people that don't like messing with VCRs just because they're a little bit of work to pack, but honestly, I can pack these in about five minutes. And once you get the hang of it, there's not that much work to do, but there is some decent money to be made. Next thing I sold is this Polaroid camera. Had the original case and everything. These are really cool. They just don't have a ton of value anymore. I had this one listed for like $40 or best offer. I'm just going to pull out here and show you guys. I've got maybe five bucks into it. Again, it was part of a bulk buy. This one I took a best offer of $30 plus shipping. I'm going to pull this thing out and actually give you guys a better look. These things are so cool. So it has this accordion style bellows, I think it's called. Like the actual inside part of it. I'm going to pull it out if I can show you guys. There's a latch or lever in here and I can never figure out how to get these things out all the way. Well, you get the idea. That's what it looks like in there. But yeah, it gets, gets pulled out all the way and then you actually look down this right here to take the picture. Really cool. There's a lot of models of these. So if you see them for cheap, pick them up. Alright, sold some more records. I guess I could just pull all these at once. Let's see, I sold Rush, Zeppelin, Floyd, and The Cash. I'm sorry, The Clash. Good God. <laughs> All right, sold Floyd. This is a uh, white vinyl from 88. That sold for $109, free shipping. Um, let's see here. I think the Power Windows by Rush sold. This one right here. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And then I sold Houses of the Holy by Zeppelin and... London Calling by Clash. Here's London Calling. Not really great records. That one sold for $34.99 plus shipping. And Houses of the Holy by Zeppelin. Great, great album. That sold for $23.99 plus shipping. All right, last thing going out today is, is another VCR. Just listed this one today. Now let's see if I can pull this off of here without dropping the remote or the VHS tape. All right, this is a Panasonic Omnivision uh, forehead VCR. Had the remote, I included the blank tape, had the owner's manual. Got this in a bulk buy. I probably got about five bucks into it, maybe 10. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. It is now Monday morning on Friday. I had like 15 or so things to ship out and I was just really sick. I've had a sinus infection and my voice was totally shot. So I didn't do any kind of recording on Friday, but today I have 24 items to ship out. A lot of sales over the weekend. So let's get to work. All right. First thing we're coming up here to B2. I sold this Sony VCR. I think it might be a combo unit here. Let me look and see. Nope, just a VCR. Honestly, it kind of looks like a DVD player, but then you just push this flap open and realize it's a VCR. Um, did not have the remote. I did put a uh, blank tape with it. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing is a combo unit. This is a Toshiba. Once again, no remote, but put a blank tape with it. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. And this one, just like the other one I got in a bulk buy, I've got about five to 10 bucks in each one of them. All right, next thing is a vintage toy. This is pretty cool. This is Goosebumps Collectibles. This was in that bulk buy I just recently made. So I've got a few bucks into it, maybe two or three. This is Curly. And he lights up and he made a little bit of noise, but I wasn't sure if it was the right noise he was supposed to make. Well, now he's not even making the noise that he was. So anyways, I put him as is and said like, probably needs a new battery and kind of Put all those like you know flaws out there. It's still sold for $29.99 free shipping. There isn't much to pack in this, but I am gonna show you guys how I'm packing it because I want to talk about 
actually buying boxes. I'm pretty cheap. I don't like paying for a lot of boxes. I get a lot of the free boxes from the post office. But when you got something light like this, it's good to have a box for it. I mean, you could put this in a bubble mailer, but I think it might just get crushed. So I want to protect the cardboard, and I'm going to put it in an 8 by 6 by 4 I pay about 30 cents a piece for these boxes, maybe 35 cents a piece. But it's worth the price because... This box only weighs a few ounces, and I can ship this first class mail by putting it in this box as opposed to a bigger box. So that 30 cents that I'm paying, I'm saving more than that amount by shipping it first class instead of priority mail. All right, next we're coming to A51. I sold a pair of these PS2 Move controllers. They weren't going for a ton by themselves, and I figure like with the price of shipping and everything, I should just do them together. I sold the pair for $32.99 free shipping. All right, coming to B33 next. Sold a PS2 Slim. Did not have the power cord for this thing. So just decided to sell it as is instead of paying for a cord and hoping that it would work. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing we're coming to C42. I sold a controller in here. Let's see, this is the DualShock 3 for PS3. It's the red one. Really clean, really nice. What did this sell for? This sold for $26.99 free shipping. I've only got a couple bucks into this, and it will go first class. It's only going to cost me about five bucks to ship. All right, coming to 851 next, I sold another PS2, I'm sorry, PS3 controller. A lot of colorful, colorful ones going out the door today. This is a gold, and it sold for $28.99 free shipping. Next thing's in 832. I sold an old license plate. This one is from 1938. And it is the uh, anniversary plate for the Northwest Territory. I think these have some pretty good value. However, mine is in really bad shape. You can tell it's pretty rusted out. So, really hurt the value. I had this listed for a pretty long while, like six months or something. And I wasn't getting any offers. Finally, somebody offered me like $10 plus shipping. So, I went ahead and accepted. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to ship this thing. Really, really simple. I've got some cardboard flaps. I'm just going to cut this off put another cardboard flap, tape it, and then put it in a bubble mailer. Nice and easy. All right, something else out of 832 sold. It is this Sony Walkman. This is just an AF FM AM, so it didn't have nearly as much value as a uh, tape player Walkman would. Still, though, new in the package, it's really hard to find, and this stuff's getting super collectible. If you see any kind of vintage Sony new in the package just pick it up it's gonna have some good value i got this in a bulk buy from luke so i've got five ten bucks into it something like that that sold for 39.99 plus shipping all right coming down to b6 next i got about 30 of these newport cigarette duffel bags these are like promo things these are new in the plastic and i think i listed them for like 20 dollars free shipping because they're so lightweight they'll go first class for about 354 bucks Somebody offered me $13 free shipping and I accepted. it. really just want to move through these as fast as I can. All right, coming up to B21 next. I sold one of these BMX magazines. I've got these all labeled. Let's see, I sold number seven. BMX Action from 82. I took a best offer on this for $20 plus shipping. Next thing going out the door is a big juicer. This is the Jack LaLands Power Juicer. New in the packaging, got this in a bulk buy. I've got about 35 or 40 bucks into it. Sold for $120 plus shipping. All right, coming to B32 next. You know what, I think I sold a couple things on here. So I'm gonna grab both of these. This first one is some pretty interesting NBA paperwork. Actually, no, shoot, that's a magazine. All right, scratch that. Let's put the magazine back. The NBA paperwork is down here at the bottom. It tells you how long I've had this thing listed. Let's get some things out of the way here. All right, this is, is it this one? I think it's the binder. Yeah, it's the binder and all this paperwork. This is from the All-Star Game from 93. I'm sorry, wait a second. 90, yeah, 93. And it is somebody that worked for the NBA. I had like a bunch of paperwork for the All-Star game. Pretty interesting. I had this listed for a while. I want to say I had it listed for like 
80 bucks or best offer. Somebody offered me $40 plus shipping and I accepted. All right, next we sold this Stranger Things four pack 8 bit Funko Pop set. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about with 8 bit, it is how they kind of make it look pixelated. This is the look they're going for. Um, I outlined that it has a little bit of box damage. There's a little bit of corner wear in some of the spots. If you're selling Funkos, if it's not perfect mint, you really should put box damage in the title just because the collectors really want to know what kind of condition it's in. So I'll always point that out and then take a lot of photos showing the damage. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And this is going to fit perfectly in the Priority Mail shoe box. You can get these free on USPS.com. Um, there's no kind of flat rate or anything. You just put in the box dimensions and the weights, uh, but the box is free. All right, for the next thing, we're down here in the basement. I've not been down in the basement in a long time. I haven't really been storing that much down here. I sold a pair of shoes. I got a big lot of shoes here recently, maybe like 10, 15 pair. I've only got a couple bucks into each one. These are Nikes. Uh, they're youth. I want to say I had these listed for like 30 or best offer. These are the King Griffey swing something i don't know took a best offer of 20 dollars plus shipping on those all right next we're coming to b61 this is the cross stitch that i sold out of the other box i was mistaken didn't sell that one i sold this one instead Looks like the plastic is sticking a tiny bit to this no harm done um cross stitches <laughs> hold on a second guys there we go Cross stitches uh, can sell for some really good money. This one didn't have a huge demand. Had a listed for forty dollars. Took a best offer of twenty-two dollars plus shipping. But recently, I've sold a few cross stitches for like a hundred dollars. So if you come across them and they're new, sealed to the packages and they're cheap, just go ahead and pick them up. All right, next thing is this Lego. I've had this listed for maybe about a month or so. This is a Ninja Go. I'm, I always mispronounce this thing. You guys will correct me if I got it wrong. Uh, Ninjago Masters of Spin Jitsu uh, it is not complete. It's missing some of the minifigures and stuff, but you know, kind of like the whole big dragon guys there. This one I had listed for like 50 or 60 bucks, took the best offer of $42 plus shipping. If you have Lego that's incomplete, just list it because people will still like it. Just make sure you put incomplete in the title and then, you know, detail it as best you can of what's missing, what's there. Take lots of pictures and uh, just be open to best offers. All right, going to B42 next, sold a PlayStation 4 controller for $27.99, free shipping. All right, coming to A42 next, I sold another PS4 controller. Put this one in a different box just because it's a different controller as far as, like, you know, the actual item that the person's receiving. So I wanted to make sure they saw the condition of this one. Uh, sold for the same price, though, $27.99, free shipping. All right, going to C42 next, three in a row PS4 controllers. This one had quite a bit of cosmetic issues, so I listed it for a little bit less. This one sold for $25.99 free shipping. Sold another camera. I sold a couple of them out of here, actually. Let's just grab this whole box. Got these cameras in a bulk buy recently. Don't have a ton into them. This little thing right here, this little Olympus Infinity Stylus camera. This, to be honest, guys, looks like a junky little camera, but it has some serious value. This thing sold for $170 free shipping. I cannot say it enough. Keep an eye out for these little point and shoot 35 millimeter film cameras because they are coming back in a big, big way. All right, next one that's sold is a Canon SureShot 80. Uh, this one right here sold for $49.99 free shipping. All right, next one that's sold is a Canon 70 Zoom. This one right here. It sold for $39.99 free shipping. All right, I just sold another one while I was packing the other ones. I could do this all day. Um, let's see here. Which one is it? Here it is. This is the SureShot 105 Zoom. That sold for $39.99 free shipping. And while we're at it, I had a game in here sell too that we'll grab. This is Game Shark for N64. That sold for $32.99 free shipping. Before I end this video, I want to give a special shout out to Shea Gun. I just met up with him a little over a week ago, bought a bunch of inventory, so thank you so much, dude. It was really nice meeting you, and he made a video on his YouTube channel for the buy. So if you guys want to see that video, I'll put a link down below in the description. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. You going back in, buddy? <laughs> the whole point was to get you out of there. <laughs>